that's what's happened to me. I am living her experience. I had no words. I couldn't. I couldn't name it. I couldn't put any. I couldn't make sense of it. But essentially, it's this spiritual awakening journey towards awakening or enlightenment. You know, these are lofty terms, but they are not lofty because we can actually live this. We are supposed to live this. We are supposed to be living from our true nature, which is emptiness. We are supposed to have this ability to live and operate and move in life from this empty place without that self in place that keeps it stuck all the time and not being able to really hear and move and do life from this, from our true nature. Our true nature doesn't have thoughts. Our true nature doesn't have emotions. Our true nature doesn't have beliefs about what's right and wrong. Our true nature is not bound by any of these things that we are bound by. So the self is like completely tight. Thinking, feeling, emoting, instincts, it's all tied to the body. It's inherited. How your body is wired, is inherited through your family system. We think the thoughts we think, the emotions we feel, the chemicals that run through our body that make us do the certain things that we do. It's all body related and it's tight. Our true nature has such a hard time to ever express itself and move through the body freely. It could, but it hardly ever does because it's so tight. And when we do healing work, usually we just exchange one negative thing for a positive, so it's still there. We are not erasing this thing. We just keep moving it around and the structure stays the same. So look. Who we really are is nothing. There's nothing in here. There's nothing out there. We are everything. We are nothing and everything. And everything is the same thing. It just moves through us in the particular ways the body is wired and programmed. So my invitation is let's take these things down. Let's make space. Let's not improve it. Let's not better it. Let's not make this structure more whole and more complete. Let's collapse it so what's there, what's always there, look, it's there. It just can't move through it. So let's collapse this structure to whatever degree it's possible. So what's always there, your true nature, your true essence, has Base, then, you know, I have to have another one where all of these are collapsed. I have them in my head. <laughs> and, and it's so hard. So this thing cannot know what your true nature is. It cannot know it. Because it's what's containing it. It cannot ever know what it is. And it fears the collapse of it because it only knows how to do this. Do you understand this? This thing is your, is, this thing wants to get free, but it's also terrified to be free because what it means, it has to collapse. In order to be free, in order to live from your true nature, this thing has to collapse. So it's terrified of its own death in a way, right? So it's a no-win situation from this place. If you want to have freedom from this place, it's a no-win situation. You can't have freedom with this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Freedom is when you look at it, you see it, you collapse it to let it go, and you start operating from this. And from here, you won't have thoughts anymore that, let me just do this. You won't have thoughts anymore. This is thinking, this is feeling, this is emoting, this is knowing. All of the things you've studied, you learned, you understand. If this is collapsed, look, you have nothing to back over. What are you going to rely on? It's all gone.
So a whole other way of knowing, a whole other way of doing life, a whole other way of understanding, of living, of experiencing, happens when you live from your true nature. It's no longer going to be this. You won't know how it's done because this cannot know it. Something completely different is happening when you live from this place. You, there is going to be safety, enormous safety experienced here. There is flow all the time experienced here. There is an understanding how things work together from a much greater field because can you see it's all the same, right? It's no longer separated out. Right? So you'll be able to see, it will look through your eyes and see things in a very different way. You'll be able to see connections, how things connect. It's a very different way of operating. You still have your body, that doesn't disappear. But the mind, the continuous nonsense of the mind, the emotions, the instinctual fears, the drives, all of this, when that's calmed down, when it has been released, you have an empty vessel, right? You, what I was learning to do, be an empty vessel in consolation, so I would be able to hear in, from the collective family field what's necessary. You'll be an empty vessel in your own life and it will, your true nature will look out your eyes. I mean, it's already looking out your eyes, but right now it has this filter to look through. Right? So if you don't have the filter anymore to look through, what might you see? What might you experience? If it doesn't tell you anymore this is right and wrong, or this is good and bad, or this you can't do or shouldn't do, if you don't have that filter in place, if somebody attacks you, if, you, if, the, if the immediate response that usually comes up isn't there, what happens? Right? It's a very different experience. So it's not about bettering, it's not about making better, about improving, it's a completely letting go and allowing your true nature to surface and be in charge. And how you're going to do life you won't know because the known is everything you inherited and what you have accumulated with culture and right in your life experience. It's very, very, very different.